Hello and welcome to our video. Today we will be making Lego Friends Heart Lake Hot Air Balloon. As you can see, this is a part of the Lego Friends collection with Andrea. Some people refer to her as Andrea, but we prefer Andrea and Noah. It appears that they are going on a hot air balloon trip. And as we open up the box and the pieces, you'll see all of the exciting things that they do on their trip with the hot air balloon. So I'm going to open up the box right now. We're going to use some scissors to open up this box because sometimes Lego boxes are difficult to get into. And as you can see, there's a couple of pieces of tape on the backs of this box just to hold it all together so we don't lose any of the pieces. Remember, when you're using scissors, you must be very careful not to cut your fingers. Oh, looks like there's one more piece of tape on the other side. Oh, and another piece, three pieces of tape on the back of this box. There we go, it's open. So we're gonna open up the box completely and see all of the packages of Legos that it comes with. As you can see, there are three packages along with a green flat piece and if you see there, yes, there's the green flat piece as well as the instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the instruction book and have it ready for our first direction. Now we're going to open up each package individually and we're going to use scissors to open the bags because we think it's easier to get into the bags with scissors. And I think this first bag is our hot air balloon. And it looks like these are the pieces of the parachute. All right, now we're gonna open up the bag that's labeled number one. Wow, there's really a lot of pieces in here. And it looks like there's even some other bags inside of that bag. So it looks like this may be the contents of the rest of the parachute here. Oh, one just fell on the floor. Don't worry about that, we'll find it. Sometimes they give you extra pieces, but that may not be one of the extra pieces. So we're gonna have to find that one before we really get started here. So I'm gonna cut open this small bag. And it looks like this is part of Noah's body. So we've got Noah's body, not Noah, I'm sorry, that was Andrea. Andrea. And this one right here is, oh, okay, first we're gonna put Andrea's body together. Put her head on right here. Let's make sure that she's facing the right way. We don't want anyone walking around with a backwards head. Now we're gonna put her hair on. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer so you can really see. Oh, she also has a flower in her hair now. Isn't that cute? Alright, so we've got Andrea. Now let's see if we can find Noah. Have we found Noah? Okay, Noah may be in bag number two. Yes, Noah appears to be located in bag number two. So right now, we're going to follow the directions. Oh, it also appears that she may have a camera as well as some binoculars. So right now we're going to put the camera together and we're going to put the camera in Andrea's hand. All right, there's Andrea with her camera now and we're going to see if we can find her binoculars. Yes, there they are. And so she's got her binoculars in her other hand. And if you look here in the direction book, that was the first step of our process. Oh, she also has a picnic basket. All right, we're gonna turn the page now.
Oh, we forgot to add the lens. So we're adding the lens now. Put the flash back on there. And then we'll put it back in Andrea's hand. All right, so we're gonna put this camera back in Andrea's hand. There we go. And now there's Andrea completed with her camera, her binoculars, the flower in her hair, and her picnic basket. Sometimes it's hard to get them to stand up, especially when they're holding things because they're a little bit off balance. So we'll just sit her down. We're going to open up the direction book and start with the first direction here. Oh, we seem to have dropped one more piece, but that's okay. We'll find it when we need it. So we're going to start with a smaller flat green Lego piece here. And we're going to be adding the flat red and white squares. I'm assuming that we are making here our picnic blanket. Indeed we are. Indeed we are making a picnic blanket. The classic red and white checkered picnic blanket. And we do have the red and white on the ends, the flat red and white, but in the middle it looks like we've got red and white that have holes on it, so we may be adding something to the middle of the picnic blanket here. Alright, so we're almost finished with our picnic blanket here. We're going to move on to the third step. Alright, it looks like we're going to be adding some of the ingredients of the picnic here. And it looks like we've got a pitcher of water along with a couple of small pink mugs. Isn't that cute? There we go, we've got two of the mugs on now, and now we've got to put the pitcher together. So it's got a top and a bottom, and then it looks like it's even got a little lid. There we go, pitcher is all together. We're gonna to put it onto our picnic blanket. And then for our next step, it looks like we're going to be adding the food that they eat on the picnic. What does that look like? Cherries and a croissant, I think. Indeed, cherries and a croissant. As you can see, there's the tiny little mini croissant and cherries. Aren't they so cute? Alright, so we're going to add this onto the picnic blanket. Now it's going to be difficult for the croissant and the cherries to stay on there in the plate, but we're going to do our best. Alright, our picnic blanket is finished, so we're going to move on to the next set of directions. And it looks like we're going to be starting the hot air balloon basket. So we're going to be taking the flat brown piece and we're adding this tan colored long strip in the middle. There we go, got it on. And then we'll add the rest of the tan pieces around it. And I think this is going to form the bottom of our basket for the hot air balloon. So we're going to continue on with our basket here. And we're adding the round cornered pieces to each of the four corners of the floor of the basket. Alright, so according to the directions here, now it looks like we're going to start adding the taller pieces of what will make up the basket. And as you can see, we've got a couple of different colors here. So we've got this darker beige color, and then we've got a lighter tan color. And this really makes it look like the actual colors of a woven basket on a hot air balloon. So I'm really kind of impressed with the lifelike colors that they've chosen here. All right, so we're gonna finish up our basket here. Okay, so we've got the floor all complete here and we're gonna keep working with all these pieces around the sides. We're adding these white pieces in here with one little hole at the top and I'm not quite sure yet what we're gonna be adding onto those holes, but it makes me think we'll be putting something on there in the basket.
All right, we're gonna keep looking for the other darker beige pieces to continue around. Yes, there they are. Looks like we're gonna be needing three more of those for right now. And I think we found all three of them. And then we're adding this darker, bigger piece into the middle of the basket. And as you can see here, it goes all the way across the middle. All right, looks like we're gonna be adding these flatter pieces to the top of the beige, that darker tan color. And then we're also gonna be adding a couple of small gray pieces to that large beige one that stretches across. And again, there's a few holes in the top of this one if you can see that here. So it makes me think that we're gonna be sticking something inside of those. I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna be yet, but we'll keep following the directions and find out. Okay, looks like we're gonna add a second row onto this basket of the light beige color. And what I really love about the directions on the Legos is it tells you exactly how many of each piece you need. If you can see there, it'll say 2x, which means two times each of those pieces. So what we do is try and find each of those pieces first, and then we add them where they're supposed to be added. Okay, moving on to direction number nine. As you can see here, it looks to be perhaps like some kind of a stool. Maybe a stool with a pink top here. And we're gonna add that right next to these white pieces with, again, the two holes. So I'm thinking we may be adding something to that as well. I'm really excited to see what ends up being in this hot air balloon basket. But the people go on those. Oh, okay, so perhaps we'll add the people. That's where they stand. All right, so we're moving on to number 10 here, and it says that we need two of those with two holes and three holes, so six holes total. And then we'll need four little black ones and one round black one. So let's make sure we can find all of those before we start putting them on. All right, how many do we have so far? Four, we've got all four of those. And we've got the two with the six holes. And then we've got the round one. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on now that we've got each of the pieces that we need. Sometimes these little ones are really hard to keep in your hands. And as you can see here, we're putting them on the outside edge of this inner gray strip here. And then we're putting this round gray one right in the middle. And also what I love about Legos is if you're not sure where to put them, you can always count the number of dots and it will tell you exactly where you need to put them. Okay, so we've got those pieces done. So step number 10 is done here and we're gonna move on to number 11. And right here it says we need one of these beige blocks, two of the curved ones, and then one little brown block. Looks like we may be making the opening of the door here. Okay, and then we need, okay, looks like we've got them all, so we're gonna go ahead and start following the directions for step number 11.
Okay, step number 11 is done, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the page, and we'll start with number 12. So for this one, it needs looks like we need one of the darker tan colored, two more of the curved ones, and another one of the gray strips that we have along the middle of our basket. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be adding another row here to our basket. Mm-hmm. And then it looks like we're putting this gray strip right on top in the exact same spot where our previous gray strip was. There we go. So it's sitting on this gray circle. I'm assuming that we may be using that as part of the steering wheel, but I'm not sure. But we're gonna move on to number 13. And it looks like we're adding the door here. I don't know if you can really see there those directions. It was a little bit of a glare, but now we can see it really well. So we've got the door on our basket here. And it really does open and close. Thank you for showing us that. Okay. So moving on to number 14 here. Looks like we need again another round black one. This blue kind of cone-shaped cylinder, half cylinder, with a steering wheel on top. And it looks like we're gonna be adding this right into, there we go, we've got the gray circle again in the middle and then that steering wheel right there to the left of the middle. So we're gonna move on to number 15 now and it looks like we're gonna be adding a rod right into the center of this gray one where we thought we may be adding a something to all these holes. So we've added this pole right in the middle. I'm assuming this is gonna be kind of what holds the parachute together. All right, we're gonna move on to number 16 here. And it says that we need two of these brown hollow cylinders and we're just adding them right on top of the pole right there. Okay, and as you can see, they kind of spin around, move freely around this pole. Thank you for showing us that. So we're gonna go ahead and move to number 17. And it looks like we need one small yellow one. And then this brown contraption that looks a little bit like a net. Um, I'm assuming what they're trying to show us here is just maybe where the flame comes from. And then this is kind of where the flame shoots out of the hot air balloon. Make sure that's in there good. We don't wanna press it all the way down to the bottom. We want it to kind of keep up to the top so far according to direction number 17. Now, when we look at direction number 18, it does want us to push this contraption, as you see she just did there, all the way as far down on the pole as it goes. And then we're gonna be adding these other pieces to the top of it. As you can see here, thank you. Okay, and then we're moving on to direction number 19, which is for us to add this red piece at the top, which really looks like it may be the fire. It's a little bit difficult to push down. Let's see if we can push, push down really hard and get it to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we just realized that the red piece is not supposed to be able to go all the way down. There's this little piece of plastic in the middle of that red piece that prevents us from pushing it straight down to the top of that gray piece right there. So we're just gonna leave it like it is. And we're gonna move on to another set of directions starting with number one. Okay, it looks like we're making some sort of a, an extension pole here. We're gonna use the other red piece Okay, as you can see here. So we're continuing here with our pole in the middle and we're adding this top gray piece on. Okay, so that's sitting nicely on the top here. So if you see, we've got a gray piece here at the top and then one here at the bottom of the pole. So we're gonna move on to direction number, hmm, somehow this went from one, two, three, and then back to 20, that's interesting how they do that. I guess they're showing that it was a three-step process to make that pole, which is what we followed. So moving on to number 21, 
Looks like we're going to start adding some of these pieces of the parachute here. Okay, so we've got all the white pieces on now. So we're going to turn the page. I'm assuming we're going to be putting on the pink pieces. Yes, that's what we're doing here. So we're going to put the pink pieces on. Before we put the pink pieces on, it looks like we're adding a little yellow flower to the bottom of each of these pink pieces. That's four. There's four flowers and four pink pieces. So one goes at the bottom of each. And then we're going to be putting it onto the hot air balloon and this will complete the parachute portion of our hot air balloon. As you can see, we do have a few more pieces still available in this bag, so I'm not quite sure exactly what we're going to be doing next, but we'll continue to follow directions. So we've got all of our pieces of the parachute on here now. So we're going to turn the page here and see what our next set of directions are. All right, oh, it looks like we've got to add the top. So we're looking for a white piece with one round. There we go, we found it. Put that right there on the top. And as you can see, this parachute is really flexible. Can you do that one more time so we can see how it moves a little bit? Yes. Show us how that whole parachute just really bends. There we go. So it really is very lifelike. Mm-hmm, thank you. All right, for number 25, we need to add four pieces of these gray pieces with a bar on the side. We're, we're going to add these right around the outside rim of the hot air balloon here. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this parachute, the hot air balloon, is really kind of wobbling, which I really appreciate the fact that they've made it able to move like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for showing us that. Okay, moving on to the next set of directions. Okay, so we've got these, again, this kind of light tan color that we're going to be adding. And it looks like we're adding some more pieces to the basket here. We have all our pieces. Mm-hmm. We've got everything, so we're going to start adding them now to the basket where it's telling us to add them. Again, the door is able to open and close. Okay, so then we've got these flat pieces that don't have any of the circles on the top. Whoops. It's okay, sometimes they fall down. Let's make sure we get it good and tight on here. Added all of those pieces to our hot air balloon basket here. And now we're adding these black pieces here, which seems to be the support or the ropes typically used to hold the hot air balloon to the basket. Four for everything. Okay, four of each. They're all and black. They're all black, and then if you look here, it also has steps one and two to make each of the arms here. So we're going to follow steps one and two for each one of them, and then we're going to attach them to the basket of the hot air balloon, and then again to that brown rim around the top of the basket or the bottom of that parachute there. We've got each of our arms made here, and we're going to go ahead and attach them. So it looks like we've got two on each side of our basket here. And it wants you to put them all the way down first, and then for our next direction, we'll go ahead and lift them up and connect it to that brown rim there at the bottom of the parachute. Mm hmm two, 
Okay. So we're moving on here to number 28 in the list of directions here. And it looks like you're making these canisters that hold perhaps the helium used for the hot air balloon and we're kind of attaching them to each of the sides here. So we've made two canisters, one on each side. Now, we have some extra pieces. We're not actually going to use those, so now we're gonna open number two. Okay. We may want to put those extra pieces off to the side so we don't get them confused with the pieces that we've just taken out of this package number two. And again, as you can see, there's a couple of small packets inside of the large packet. I'm assuming one of these packets is going to contain Noah, since we didn't make him in packet number one. I do see right here the top of his body, and there's his legs. His there's face. his face and his hair, so we've got Noah ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and open some of these other bags too. This bag right here has a lot of small pieces. We don't want to lose them. We certainly don't want to lose them. Although I do appreciate that they tend to give extra pieces just in case you lose one, but they don't give extras in every single piece. So we right, so have to open the package of the up. Noah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got his body open here. And I really like the detail that they put on these bodies because if you really look closely, you can even see his shoestrings here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put his face on here. Okay, and there is Noah. little map. Okay, so he's holding a map just like Andrea was holding a camera and some binoculars and a picnic basket. She's not actually really holding the picnic basket. It's just off to the side. Okay, so it appears that the only thing Noah's going to be holding is his map. put him in the hot air balloon. I think he's supposed to be standing anyway, so we're just gonna let him rest here off to the side while we continue on with our directions. Okay? Okay. All right, so here's all of our pieces. And it looks like we'll be starting with a large flat green piece. This was actually located in packet number one. No, it was just off to the side. It wasn't in a bag. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for correcting me. All right, so first we're gonna be adding these gray pieces here. We're making like the waterfall. Okay, so we're making a waterfall and the tree. Is there a tree in there? Yes, there if is If you can a tree. see closely, can you go back to that so I can show them how they really show you the final product of what you're gonna be making before you get started, which I really appreciate as a point of reference to go back to. All right, so now we've added this dark gray piece and it looks like we're gonna be adding some lighter gray pieces here. Here we go. Okay, so that was steps three, and then what looks like we're also gonna be adding some of the bigger green pieces, two of them, I believe. Let's check and see how many directions say yes, two of them. Okay, and if you'll notice, these green ones here kind of hang off of the platform a little bit. I'm not sure why that is, but I think we'll find out. Okay, moving on to step number five. We found why that hanging off. Okay. Because we have to 
let's like get to another piece here. Here we go. So we're gonna add this. One edge is curved over here, and then the other edge is flat. So that's the piece that's gonna kind of hold those extra pieces on there. Okay. So moving on to step number six here, we need one gray with three circles, a small gray one that has a triangular edge, and then a light blue one here. So we're gonna go ahead and add these. Okay. This process seems to be moving fairly quickly at this point. Moving on to number seven here. So we'll need a couple of green ones with the triangular edge, and then two small flat ones with three circles, a small flat light blue one with two circles, and then another flat one with what appears to be a hole in the middle that's light blue. Can you show us if that has a hole in the middle or not? No, it's a... Yes, okay, so it's not quite a hole, but it looks like we may be sticking something right in there or putting something on top of it. So I think we'll keep following directions and find out what we're gonna be doing with that circle right on top there. We are going to be finding out on level eight. Okay. waterfall that we're making here. We are, we are. Okay. I put these in the wrong spot. It looks like it doesn't look close, but it really doesn't. So we'll just move it over just one circle there. It's perfect right there. Now, so it appears that we've added the light green on either side of it to kind of show the grass or perhaps some mossy rocks that sometimes form along the waterfall edges. Now we are on level eight. Okay, and it looks like we're gonna be adding some of the flowers and other growth shrubs, little bushes that are around the waterfalls, and perhaps even some small skipping stones or stepping stones that you may step on across the waterfall. And although this kind of shows you where you should put the flowers, I think you've probably got some options if you wanted to mix these up and put them in different places. All right, we're also adding here a somewhat clear blue color here, which again, I assume to be part of the water here that really makes this more lifelike. And again, I appreciate that Lego really goes the extra mile to try and make these colors as close to real life as possible. Here's the waterfall. Okay, and then we've got our stones there across it. So we're moving on to step number nine here. And we need some of this darker gray color. It looks like one of each of those, as well as a brown piece. Now this brown piece looks interesting because it's got these outer holes on each side of it, if you can see that here. So I think we'll be finding out what we do with that in the next couple of steps here. this gray shaped piece, which is also an interesting shape. It has these two holes that we don't know what we're gonna do, but we have to find out on the directions it looks like. Okay, so we need two of the darker gray and then just one of that lighter gray. Okay, 
Now I'm wondering if we're gonna end up putting this picnic blanket inside here, or what we're gonna be doing. We've moved on to number 11 here in our list of steps to follow and it looks like we may be adding some more height to our waterfall here because we've got some additional blue pieces and then we've got what looks like a really dark gray or perhaps a dark green. I can't quite tell from the glare. It's a really dark green. It's flat. Okay, let's Just see that like really that. Okay, so that's a dark green in color. Tell us where we're going to add those. Right here. More like, to make it more like a waterfall. Okay, I see there. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of like steps too. Hmm. See? I sure do. That's interesting. So it looks like we're just going to keep making our waterfall a little bit taller. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, so continuing on here, looks like we may be adding some more of these green pieces which appear to be some sort of bush or just, you know, the greenery that lives in the jungle and grows, especially near waterfalls. this hot air balloon out of the way a little bit so we can really see what she's doing over there. There we go. We missed a page. Oh, I didn't even realize that. We went straight. We seem to have forgotten which number step here, 12? Yes. So we've gone back and we're gonna be completing step number 12. I just realized, cause we didn't have, we didn't have that one, so I just went back one. Well, yes, to make again, sure. the beauty of having the pictures for reference. step number 13 once we realized that we'd skip number 12. Looks like we're adding again the greenery here which appears to be something like a tree or a bush perhaps. I'm, um, on the box it says there's just gonna be some yellow flowers on top of it. Okay so maybe that's a bush. Again. Come on, so now we're adding some ah some blue pieces here that really make the waterfall look like it's flowing down here. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can really see this good here. Yes, there it is. So you can see how it really looks like it's flowing down. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, it's big green, and that's where the, this little picnic is going to go. Oh, I see now. Now, is there a place that you can actually stick the, pla the picnic blanket on? Okay, looks like we got this flat piece onto the top here. Okay, so continuing. Oh, so we're adding some gray pieces there, and I think what they're trying to do is really make it look like rocks, which is really kind of neat looking. Okay, so we've got that green piece added, and it looks like we need to push it down just a little bit because it's not quite there we go. Sometimes you just kind of need to wait till you hear a click. Now we just need this little thing. Oh, and there's a little jewel that's supposed to go in it. Oh, kind of like a treasure chest? Yeah. 
that and then we have to close it back up. Okay. And well that there's this little hole, we put it right inside there. Wow. So if so no one can find it except them. Okay. Now it looks like we're going to be adding a couple more of this dark green color. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to step number 17 here. And it looks like we'll begin making this a tree. tree thing. Mm -hmm. It kind of covers it. So if someone comes in, they won't see it. Okay, so they're using it as some sort of a disguise here. And if you, I think, twist this, maybe that, that if you twist this, maybe that's how it opens back up. I think so, because if you look here in the directions, there's a red arrow pointing down. So I think it shows that you can move it up and down. Now we found out why that's a little dark. There we go, because we're going to stick that tree branch right in there. And that allows us, as you can see here, to move the branch up and down so that it hides this treasure chest. Okay, we're going to keep it down right now. Alright, step number... Wait. Oh, we didn't add, there's a couple flowers that we forgot to add in step number 18. So we're going to add those really quickly before we move on to step number 19. And there's also another rounded piece on the edges that we didn't add. Wait. So it seems that that completes the entire grassy area here. And again, I think it gives you an idea of where they would put flowers, but I don't think it's so important that you put the flowers exactly where they do. Because flowers can really grow anywhere, especially in a grassy area near a waterfall. Okay, so we've chosen to put our flowers there, which is the same place that they put their flowers. All right, we're gonna move on to step number 19 here. Alright, so in step number 19, we have these, like, little, I think maybe a log? Mm-hmm, I think it does look like a little log that they could sit on. So we're going to add this over here. And on the box it says that there's, uh, there's going to be some firelight on that, mm. so, that so they can roll some small zaps, so there's going to be, like, these little, and these are going to be marshmallows. And that's one of the reasons why we picked this one. We were really excited about the hot air balloon and... The marshmallows. Mm -hmm. We like to roast marshmallows here at our house on our fire, and so we thought that was really neat. But my daddy loves to make fat aisles. Okay, so we've moved on to step 20 now, and it looks like we're going to be using these small gray pieces as well as this brown piece in the middle to make what is at the bottom of the fire pit here. So, it, I think that's going to be like sticks. I think so too. On the box, it says yes, they are going to be sticks. Okay. We have done the three things. So now, looks like we're going to be adding the fire, and then we're also going to be adding what looks to be a river before the waterfall flows over the rocks, which is really kind of neat. So here's the fire. 
So now we have to get a little river here if you can see that okay and now we're gonna do step number 22 and it looks like we had a little bit more grass and a few more flowers here and some of these like gray thingies mm -hmm. some more rocks these are the last two grays Okay, there we go. So we're going to move on to step number 23 now. We're really getting close to the end here. So it looks like we're going to be adding here a this little, little leaf. white frog too. No, a little frog. Now that's cute. The frog sits right here at the top of this water. It probably wants to go up, up, up. Mm -hmm. We're going to sit him right there in the water. Okay, and then it looks like we're adding a little bit more rocks to the side here. So we're adding our rocks to the side here. Yeah. Okay, we've got rocks. Now we're doing this more. And if you see here, it looks really like a stick with a marshmallow on the top. How yummy. Do you like s'mores? I love s'mores. Me too. I love to make my marshmallows just lightly toasted golden brown. But I don't really like them. I just kind of like them. Okay, I'm adding a few more little rocks here. So the and water then... won't go all the way down into the glass? Mm-hmm, or onto our treasure chest, which is right underneath there. So now, I got one of my sticks. Here's the box marshmallow. How cute. Isn't that cute? Huh. See, we've got our marshmallows on our skewers right there. So now we're moving on to part of the tree. And this is step number 25 and 26 here. Ah. Here are some of these branches. We're going to be adding some of the small, how many of those? Four. Okay, four of the light green flat ones. And then we've got some more brown ones and another green one with one of these circles on the top. It appears to look like these may just be fallen leaves or something. And if you see there, she was counting the number of holes in between. Yeah, it had to go two down. And then this one will go Yeah. Sure. 
this is something I think kind of like the flowers. It doesn't have to go exactly where they show in the picture. It's just kind of wherever you want okay. to put the leaves. Froggy. That's our little frog here, so let's just put him right back here where he belongs. Mm -hmm. Maybe right there? Okay. I just want to hide that. Okay, and then it looks like we need a flat brown piece. Yeah. And then one other brown piece that's got this triangular edge. Looks like this needs to go over a little bit more. And then we'll put the triangle piece first. Okay, and then we'll put the brown piece right next to that triangular piece. There we go. And I think that flat piece there is kind of supposed to be what we would think of as a root on the tree, kind of coming out of the tree there. This has to be right on the that flat brown piece. So I will do that right now. There we have that. All right, so we're moving on to step number 27 and 28. It looks like these are almost our final two steps here. Well, we have these two pages and then two more. Okay. So, so we're on step finish. number 27, which looks like we're finishing off our tree here, at least the branches anyways. Only the branches, not the whole thing quite yet, but we're moving along. There. Okay, there we have that. So now we have to do two of these. Our little branches oh. too here. That's an extra leaf that we may be adding to this tree at some point, but we haven't gotten quite there in the direction, so we'll just keep going with our little tan pieces here. I don't know what these are going to be for, but maybe they're gonna go like that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. But I don't know. We'll see when we get to step number 29. Okay. And we'll add the small green pieces to each of the corners here. Okay, we'll move along to step number 29. Oh yes, I was right! And she sure was. Now we're going to be adding the leaves here. on here. A couple little flowers in here in the leaves. And then this is the last step before we can put the picnic blanket on and really let them just play in their little jungle habitat. Just like those. They can go any spot they want. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. So let's go ahead and put our picnic blanket up there so we can see where they're going to have their picnic. There's our picnic. Here's the hot air balloon. And why don't we go ahead and put Andrea and Noah into the hot air balloon and let them take a little ride. So that concludes our video of Lego Friends Heart Lake Hot Air Balloon. Thank you for watching.